What's up y'all welcome back to another project we get to video and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get any and all accessories so please subscribe and now if you're in the game already you just want to click on this little door icon in the top left and click on game hub if you're in the main menu already click play and then you want to click on hub now once you're in the game hub you want to click here on raids where you can see Mugetsu Ichigo and if you have friends this is now where you guys will be linking up you invite them to your party before you join but if you're doing this alone and just hoping to find a party there click on red go and look for the hollow ambush with five people lucky me there's literally one waiting for me already so come in and press q all right All right, survive the hollows. Now, from here, of course, you want to party, you guys. What the hell? Look at this clown. Already doing this nonsense. Yeah, you want to party up the guys. So let me do that real quick. All right, now you want to wait for the wave to start. And basically what this game mode is, it's endless hollows. And you want to leave at wave 41. Obviously, it's gonna start out with them pretty weak and they're gradually gonna get stronger and stronger as the waves move on. All right, we're here on the last five waves and a few tips I'm gonna give you all is you wanna do as much damage as possible to these little uh, Aranka NPCs and the Vastu Lordes because they give a bunch of XP. For example, I'm just gonna kill one of these guys and we'll see what happens. Yes, there. Literally just throwing him up and down, bullying these NPCs. Of course, they do get stronger as the waves go on, which is why they give more XP. Come on, just die already. Golly, bro. Bro, you're doing too much, man. Damn, that barely gave me anything, I can't lie, but it is true, they do give a lot of XP. Another tip is you want to never use moves like Flash Zero or Reatsu Explosion where you have to grab the NPC because if the NPC dies from the grab or the NPC just happens to have died before you grab them, you will die too. And you only have two modes in this game. Another thing, you might want to turn on fast mode because as you can see, the lag is insane in this later round. All the particles of the NPCs flying around and everything. <laughs> All right. But if you're just here for the accessories, you don't even need to worry about doing damage. But I would still recommend you to because if you just AFK like that guy over there, it's just going to take longer to reach wave 40, which is going to end up inconveniencing you in the long run. So just help your teammates, man. Oh my bad, I was, <laughs> I was just standing still, oh my god, I just missed out on so much free kills. Oh, there's still a bunch here chilling for me. Come here. Yes, sir. Oh my god, my frames, bro. 8 FPS. Alright. Bro, why are the zero cooldown so damn long, bro? In a mode like this, we need those zeros, bro. Look! 
Well, this happens to you. They start jumping you all at once. Boom, go up. Cool. Yes, sir. Sniped. Ooh, that was perfect. Did they even die? No, no one died. Oh my god, bro. All my teammates low or something. Why are they just tweaking out? Maybe they're chilling for wave 40. And wave 40, as I said earlier, is what you need. For the accessories but it's just one more wave left i guess i want me to get all the xp i ain't complaining give me all that xp yes sir yes sir and these guys over here are still getting hit by my move bro this is why i love this resurrection it's cheap but hey it gets the job done pretty good Shoot these guys. Move a little bit, shoot him again. Yes, sir. Who's left? Right, he can handle that. Alright, now, guys, do not make this mistake. You do not want to leave on wave 40. You want to leave after wave 40. So, when wave 40 wants to start, and my bad for saying leave, you don't want to leave, you want to reset. Uh, if you still have both of your lives, of course, reset twice. If you only have one like me left, then just reset once. Oh my days. They really on me, bro. Yo! Yo I, I ain't going out like this. I ain't going out like this. Alright. They're both stuck behind the tree. It's gonna be a whole lot of free XP for me. I can't even lie to you, Brody. Ah, oh, damn. Why'd that get over there? Uh uh, no. You ain't hitting me that zero. Stupid. Uh uh. Uh uh. What? Bro! Ah! My own race is pissing me off now. Alright. Boom, send them up, come down, get hit again. <laughs> I got them in the mix up for real, bro. Come on, come on. Where's my Oscura still on cooldown? It's not even on cooldown. Alright. Now wave 40 is over. And only once wave 41 starts is when you want to reset. And this is the most volatile part, because this is where everybody messes up. So reset. And now you want to click on lobby. It says no reward. I don't know why, but that's what you want to click on. And as you can see, you have been rewarded. Of course, check in your inventory to see what you got. Let's see what I got. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what I had before. I think I... Wait, I don't think I had anything before. So it looks like all this is new. Rukia Chan, Baragan Eye Necklace. Pretty late, pretty late. And if you get an accessory twice, it just won't appear in your inventory. So don't worry if you do it and you got nothing. You didn't actually get nothing. You just got something you already had. And yeah, that's literally how you get every single ability in Project Mugetsu. You can also do the Yuha Bahrain, but that is so much harder. I would recommend you to just do the holo one because at least you can solo it if you have time on your hands. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like. Please subscribe. We are so close to hitting 10k, bro, like 96%. So please subscribe, drop a like, and leave a comment down below. Tell me what video you guys want to see next. And until next time, peace.